What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please smash that thumbs up right now. Right now we are here at the thrift barn and we are looking for vintage t-shirts. If we can find one, just one, that means we've scored. So I'm looking for many different things. First off, I know my designs very well. So if I see a certain design, um, you know, I'm looking for a date on it or certain cracking style. What do you got there? Ripley's? Nah, we'll pass on that. I'm also looking for single stitch. So with some of these shirts right here, when you see this double stitch, that's something they started doing like about mid 90s. We want single stitch that will be before the mid 90s and those shirts go for quite a bit more money. Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> Ooh, Auburn. I love Auburn, but it's definitely, you know, that's not worth no money. So Jay always helps me. What we usually do is I will start on this side of the white tag and work my way this way, and then he'll do this side. We work in teams so we can go through them quickly and get back to our day. And I love him. I do know. I do know. So far, I'm not really finding anything, bro. What is it? Bugle Boy. This is vintage, bro. This is, yo. Yo, we'll definitely grab that, what, 429? Probably get about 15 bucks for that. You know, people are always asking me, dude, like, what's the biggest find you ever found uh, t-shirt wise? Oh, let me see that. Oh, that's nice. Nice little rock -aware shirt right here. This is like, probably like mid 2000s. Probably get like 25 for the shirt. Oh, no. Wait. What? Hold up. She's taking a picture of this real quick. I think this is worth a lot of money. What is it? Thirty-four dollars. Thirty. Yeah, vintage shack T. Thirty-four dollars. Hell yeah. One of the biggest scores I had more recently was I found this shirt. It was like two dollars and fifty cents or something like that. And I turned around and sold it for $145. I put it in an auction on eBay and it just went through the roof. How much money do you think we're gonna make on those shirts? Probably for some good money. Yes, some good money? Since says we're gonna make some good money. <sighs> Ladies and gents, I am here to see Saw X. I am so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. Ever since I seen the vacuum hose connect to the person's eyeballs, I've been thinking to myself, I have to see this. So, got me a little slurpy action. Basically got the whole damn movie theater to myself. Hey, so what's up? You here alone? To watch Saw by yourself? No. Look, I have a feeling you might get scared. You might need somebody to push up on. You might need somebody to hold you. I like to be that man. Oh, sir, are those M&Ms? Did you buy them from us? You didn't? Look, I hate to break it to you, but you're gonna have to get the fuck out of here. What about her? <clears throat> I don't know what to break. To be or not to be, that is the question. What do you guys think? Am I getting an Oscar or what? Ladies, gentlemen, if you could please put your fucking phones away. <laughs> you can use them anytime. You don't come to a movie theater to be on them. Sir, when, did I say something that was funny? Okay, you can leave. I know what you guys are saying to yourself right now. Don't I have a new movie that's out? Mallet, yes. Why is it not in movie theaters? I will tell you why. Because it's not fucking Saw X. Ma'am, ma'am, please. Can you cover? They're, they're poking out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to people. <laughs> Free motorboat rides. Get you guys in. Yeah, I figured, no, you came in the same movie theater. I mean, they're playing Saw in here. I figured you're probably seeing Saw. <sighs> I am not afraid anymore. Sorry about that. Oh, whammy. You guys want to know what really ticks me off at movie theaters? When people put their feet on the back of your seat. I'm not a fucking lazy boy, okay? You want a lazy boy, go to the furniture store. Ask for Lisa 22. Like my new Jordans are pretty cool, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm not waiting for somebody. You can sit here. 
No, it's fine. I can move my arm if you want. Whatever. I always can't wait till the commercials start. Some people say, why do you get there when the commercials are going? Just just wait, because if the movie's supposed to start at like, let's say 1 p.m., technically the movie doesn't actually start till 1 p.m. I don't like that they lie to you, but I like the commercials. If there's any spirits here, can you please make a noise? I used to always look forward to going out the exit doors down there. Now they've got it nowadays to where um, you, you really can't do that at most theaters. They do have one over there, but in some theaters I've noticed now, you have to walk back through the entire theater to get to the front doors, to get out, to get to your car. Let me tell you how much time the exit doors used to save people. Well, with the cost of living, the cost of inflation, the fact that Twitter is no longer going to be free. Okay, you know what? All this shit is irrelevant. I just missed the fucking exit doors. All right, guys, we just had to make a stop here at Subway. I got me a bowl. Aunt got the cold cut. Alicia and Jace decided to split a steak and cheese. She said she wasn't really hungry, so I was like, at least eat a half one. What are you doing? That was the moment he knew he messed up. Now, I know you guys are wondering what I got in this bowl right here. I got shredded lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, onions, pickles, uh, sweet onion sauce. I got some chicken teriyaki and some provolone cheese. This is pretty much the typical bowl I get anytime I come to Subway. I love it, it's healthy, it's on my diet. I can't even see my people. Do you love your dad? Yes, you do. You love your dad there. Yes, your dad. I should really as your daddy. Oh, oh, oh. I just love their dad. She loves her daddy. So I'm sitting here in bed editing a video for the HTD channel and Alicia brings me this big old pile of food. I'm supposed to be on a diet. What I'm probably gonna do is eat one of these and half of this rice right here. But I wanted to show you guys, man, this girl can cook, bro. Like, no cap, she can cook, cook. How many of you guys would like to try Alicia's cooking? I'm curious, leave it in the comments section. I mean, that, that's some five-star shit right there, bro. Look at that. Today, we are shipping the rest of the, the pre-orders, and then the movie won't be available again until October 31st for regular DVD orders and Amazon Prime orders. You guys will be able to watch it on TV if you don't want to order a DVD. It'd be a lot cheaper just to rent it or get digital download. I'm over here getting gas right now at the gas station and I've seen this cool looking horse right here. Check that out. Ain't that a cool looking horse? It's got on like a sweater or something. I don't know what that is. $44.10 to fill up this little Kia Soul. We are at IHOP right now getting ready to get some food. It's gonna seem like we eat a lot in these videos, but we really don't. You're seeing these videos filmed over the course of like two to three days, sometimes even four days. So look at my little vlog hog. You're not um, a vlog hog. This is your channel. A vlog so hog? You're a vlog hog. He's a vlog hog. He is. Don't let him fool you guys, but that's okay. He's my little vlog hog. That's what I want right there. The fajita omelet, boy. That's my thing. What do you mean? Chicken tenders are Oh, you circled it. Oh, you circled it? What? All right, guys. I'd say that that omelet right there looks just like it did on the menu. Alicia went ahead and she got uh, one of these omelets, too. What you get? Chicken and fingers and, and all that good stuff. Now I'm gonna have to let you guys go because I gotta dive in in this. So this morning, this is what Alicia has made me. Some breakfast, some coffee. This breakfast just looks absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure that's a ribeye. Got some eggs, got some fried potatoes, you got some cheese grits. I cannot eat the potatoes. So I'm gonna make her eat those. I'm gonna try and eat as much as I can of the other stuff. I'm gonna save some of the steak for this little girl right here. Yeah, I saved some of the steak for you, huh? All right, here we go. Been dying to get some new ink, man. I got like three or four tattoos I wanna get, but coming so close to haunt season, I knew it was a bad idea because I meet a lot of supporters. I meet a lot of people just in general when they're coming through the haunted house and I didn't want my tattoos to get infected because I'm constantly in character, shaking people's hands. And one of the things I wanted to get done was I wanted to get my knuckles tatted. So just talked to my tattoo artist and we have an appointment set 
right after Halloween. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get some new ink. This tattoo right here means so, so much to me. Um, this is the logo for a haunted house attraction that I just absolutely loved and adored when I was a kid. It was called Terror on Church Street. And if it wasn't for this haunted house, I don't think I would have fell in love with the idea of owning my own haunted house one day. My whole model was based off this as far as like, they were a guided tour. You had this tour guide that was always in character. And that's exactly what I do as Father Dean this year. Last year and the year before, I played Dr. Dean. This year I'm Father Dean, uh, the demonic priest that's bringing the people in. And as they're going through, I'm telling them that they're fulfilling a blood oath. And at the end of the blood oath's fulfillment, that this grand arising of monsters and evils will surround us. And that itself is a gift from the Dark Lord. Fucking batshit crazy. Dude, look how badass the Sean Kemp's look. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this shoe, but they, they've re-popped it, man. Um, back in the day, this sneaker hit so hard. And when I seen they, they brought it out again, I was like, yo, I gots to have that but it looks like little raindrops are on them. And they purposely did that, man. It just makes it look so sick, but these are dead stock. I've never wore these yet. Uh, just waiting for the right occasion. If I decide to wear them at all, I mean, they're very highly collectible, you know, in this state right here. So those match my outfit today, but I'm not gonna be wearing those. I think I'm gonna be wearing these right here. I love the two-tone, bro. I, I know you guys have seen me wear these before. As you can tell, I definitely wear these. Now, I'm not gonna do it. These are dead stocks. The guy that I bought them from called them the Emerald Cities. I've heard other people call them that. That's not what they are. But these Charles Barkley's right here, these are some of the flyest shoes ever, bro. But I can't bring myself to wear them just because they're so nice. I just don't want to mess them up. And I'm not saying that there's not some special event that I would wear them to. Like if Mallet would have had a movie premiere inside of a movie theater, I definitely would have wore them to a place like that. Some of these behind me here, are just highly collectible. I'll part with them for the right price. Some of them I may wear occasionally. Now look at those right there, dude. They got freaking rabbit fur on them. How sick is that? Those are so sick. I would never wear these though. Those are those are meant to keep in a case just like this. Got some Kobe's right there, bro. R.I.P. Kobe, man, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, the Fruity Pebbles right there, I think they're sick. A lot of people, like, they hate on those shoes. I think they're pretty gnarly, bro. I would wear those before I would wear those. Shit, hiding in the back here, we got some De La Souls. These are highly expensive, very, very collectible. These are dead stock. Dead stock means they've never been wore. They are brand new. They've been sitting on ice for the right person. Now, those are the Halloweens, and I do break those out quite often. I love that shoe for obvious reasons because i am the pumpkin king so now we are going back to some thrift pickups from the last few days here look at all those tags i just popped off all the clothes i'm about to show you now on the average everything i got was under five dollars or under ten at the very least vintage jordan six all over print Gatorade, Like Mike t-shirt, 3X, just posted on the eBay. I should get like probably $35, $45 for this shirt. Now it's really too bad that this shirt was not my size because had it have been my size, I definitely would have kept this. Love Selena. Somebody's gonna cop this for sure. I haven't posted it on my eBay yet. However, I anticipate I'll probably get about 40, maybe $50 for this shirt, an official Selena licensed brand shirt. This was a big dog score right here. I think, yeah, still got uh, the thrift store tag on it, $4.29. I stand to probably make about anywhere from 40 to $70 on this shirt. And I'll tell you for why guys. This is early 90s vintage. There's that single stitch I was telling you guys about. See the one single stitch? That's early 90s. Also, another thing to look for on vintage clothing is a thick, big tag with some kind of crazy name that you don't ever see. Now, the coolest thing about the shirt is the graphic wraps around all the way to the back. That is so cool. It has a little snag under the left armpit, but I don't anticipate that being an issue at all because people love these old wolf design early 90s t-shirts. Vintage MTV shirt. I don't anticipate getting a lot for this. 
However, it was less than like five bucks. So most likely we'll sell it for like 15 to $20. It is vintage. It's got that awesome graphic. Definitely see the age in the pitting from the washing and just being old as hell. Then I found this old FUBU shirt. Very nice design, got the big tag, pretty much mint condition. It could stand to possibly have like an iron ran over it or something like that, but it's very clean. I paid like $4.99 for this shirt. I think this one was half off. Probably sell this for like 20 to $25. It's not a huge profit, but you do a bunch of these and it stacks up. This one will definitely go quick. Uh, I paid $4.29 for it. I'm gonna put it up for $25. It's probably gonna hit the eBay within the next day or two. It's got the full size Dragon Ball, early style Dragon Ball graphic on the front of it. So I think this shirt right here will probably sell fairly quick. I found this Gucci shirt right here in a thrift store. Not the same thrift store as I found the other shirt. It was behind the counter on the wall. The woman said that she didn't know if it was real or not, so she just slapped 10 bucks on it. <laughs> what a score. This is 110% real if there's one thing i know about clothing it's i know how to spot the real from the fake and this gucci is 100 percent real baby now being a size small and brand new in great condition i anticipate i'll get anywhere from 300 to 800 dollars for this shirt Ooh, gucci is so expensive especially this shirt right here then to really kick it off i found three pairs of dope ass men's jeans and these jeans are not cheap i stand to probably make 40 to 50 dollars a pair i paid less than 10 dollars for each pair i'll show you the other two right now and, and these were hard for me not to keep but you just can't keep everything that you buy to sell dude i mean you can't be a hoarder i already collect enough shit as it is i'm invested into so many things so when it comes to my store and the things i'm getting from my store and the things to sell online you just gotta say when in rome definitely gonna put 50 on these i paid eight dollars and 99 cents for them I anticipate they will sell within probably two to three weeks. These even got designs on the front of them, which are super dope. And they got the little dope dealer pocket right there. Shh, don't tell nobody. Then you got these right here. Probably will get about 40 for these Parish jean shorts. These also have some really cool designs, inlays, little accents, you know, right here on the crotchial region. Little writing in here, little things that, you know, if you look at them, even on the inlay of the crotch area, there's a little tag. Who's gonna be down there? So these were just a freaking steal. Then they had this GameStop Xbox controller for $3.99. It was half off. So two bucks for that, it's a good deal. I can sell it for 10 to 15 bucks in the store. Just some really good thrift scores this week. Now, this is something I've been doing for years, looking for vintage clothing, and I have so much of it in storage, it's just unreal. When my store, Retro Rewear, finally opens, I think people are going to be very impressed about the magnitude of stuff that we will have for them. From retro video games, vinyl records, 80s, 90s clothing, all kinds of other pop culture stuff, vintage 80s, 90s action figures, and so, so much more. One thing I try to stray away from doing is selling online. I do have an official site for the Retro Rewear store, and I have started posting a few things, actually, that were in this video on the eBay. So I'll go ahead and leave that here for anybody that's interested in keeping an eye out for anything you see in these videos you may want. However, I have to warn you, just cause I buy it for $1.50, $5, $10, I'm not going to sell it for that. I don't invest in things that I can't double or triple my money on. I'm a hustler, man, it's what I do. I don't even really have time to sell a lot of this stuff to be honest with you guys. So what I do is I just usually buy it, I put it away in the storage, and I'm just waiting till I open my physical location for retro rewear. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please smash that thumbs up, comment below, share this on social media this is the scream scene baby i post every week right here on this channel roses are red violets are blue i love the scream scene and so do you i love you guys so much i'll see you on the next one
bitch on my baby mama's couch Done with playing games, all my friends are lame Since I got the fame, every motherfucker changed I was born a hustler, always on my grind Some flowers and pills, it's a way to pass the time Said I fail, now they wanna fuck me. Bitch, I'm Michael Myers, how I cut like a knife. When she come through, she always fuck me twice. I just made this beat, bitch, cause I was high. Pills and sunflowers, I can see it.